Hi guys, this here is a Westinghouse flipper fan. Um, now, I got this one actually yesterday. Um, this was a late birthday gift. Um, and this actually came from my boyfriend's uncle. Um, it was in their family for I don't know how long. Um, according to them, I think it had been a few years. Um, and he hadn't used it in several years, or at least in a while or something, or he, he wasn't doing anything with it. Um, and, um, you know, he had sent me a picture of it a while ago and I'd said, oh, that's cool. Cause I'd seen these before. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it was, it, it turns out that it was his uncle's. And so he told him and well, now I got it. So yeah. Um, this one, it, it's a really cool little fan. It's a unique design. I really like it. Um, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, so first of all, the entire fan is basically this, like, wire, like, it's constructed of, like, wire, like, pieces. I don't know. I don't really know how else to describe it. Um, and it's just, like, it suspends the motor and the blades. It's very cool. Um, it's a really just nifty design, honestly, in my opinion. So um, take a look at the front here is your tag with the Westinghouse logo. Now this is the newer Westinghouse logo. Um, the older one was similar. It had a W like that, but it didn't have those uh, the dots. It was just like a straight straight lines. Um, so that's a newer design of the logo. Um, do I have an example of the older logo? I don't think I do. Um, and then right underneath the bit, you've got the flipper fan in this really nice fancy manuscript type writing. Um, yeah. Now, when I got it, the tag was all the way at the bottom there. Uh, I moved it up to the middle where it's supposed to be. Um, yeah. Now, the blades are this transparent uh, blue, like see-through blue plastic. Um, this material, I believe, is called Hemecolite SR, and it was actually, this design was first used in the um, Westinghouse Lively Air, like uh, this one right here. This is my 10 LA4 model. And you can see that the blade set design is exactly the same. This design first came out in, I think, 1954. Um, and yeah, this one is a fair bit later. This one is from... Uh, I don't exactly know when these are from. I heard that they were made between, I think, 1960 and 1964. So that would be a good 10 years after the Plastic Blades originally debuted um, on the Lively Air series that they put them on these. Um, and they also used these on the later... AT uh, series, the AT10 and AT12 series. I have one of those. Um, the, they're the white and avocado green stamped steel ones that are made by, I think, Nat Monarch. Um, and um, I have one of those. I haven't made a video of it. I really should. Um, yes. So another similarity that these have to the Lively Airs, which you may have noticed um, very briefly while looking at it from straight ahead here, but if I turn it to the side, it becomes even more apparent, is that the motor housing is identical to that of the Westinghouse Lively Air, as you can clearly see. So yeah, they just reused the motor, and um, they just stuck it on this sort of wire cage thing um, with this stand, um, and they called it a different model. Now, as you know, the Lively Air is an oscillating type desk fan, and this is not oscillating, obviously. You can still see the space where the oscillator wheel would come out right there. And if you look really closely inside, you can see that the gearbox like compartment is still there. Um, but it's empty. And the top, the, the lid has also been removed, as has the spring uh, that goes on the top cover that would normally hold the, the gearbox shut. I don't know how well you can see it in here. But you can sort of see there's a black, uh, I think, stamp top cover, like metal cover, that goes over the gearbox and a spring that holds it shut. So, yeah, the only difference is that the color scheme is different. This one's painted blue, which is actually a callback to the earliest Lively Airs, the very earliest um, Lively Airs that were, um, came before these, uh, the champagne colored ones like this were actually a darker blue color, a little bit darker than this, not as like vibrant. Um, and they had metal blades. They were called the Power Sphere blade set. 
I don't like that design as much. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I don't really like the design of those blades. I think they're a little ugly. Um, also, you'll notice that the blades in the center there, there is no center um, metal blade hub like there would be on the Lively Air. Like that, it would be like a conical sort of brushed uh, metal uh, circle that goes over there. I don't know if this would have originally come with that. I have yet to see one of these that has that centerpiece. Um, so I think they may have just left that blank and just counted on the tag to uh, keep it covered. Now, there is a label with model information on the bottom of the motor here. And you can see it's this little, like, plate that says all the voltage specs. This one is model AL10-1. I don't know what AL stands for, but the 10 is for 10 inches. And I'm not sure what the 1 stands for. There's the newer Westinghouse logo again. Westinghouse made in USA. And then there's a stamp right there, an ink stamp. It says DXW1. I don't know what that means. And I don't see any other information no date code or anything these never did i don't think um so yeah now there is no switch on this fan um it's just a simple plug it in and it's on just one setting here's the power cord uh i can't tell who made this or this is the plug i can't tell who made the plug there's like a logo or something is that the ge logo that isn't the GE logo. I have no idea what kind of logo, what logo that is. So, yeah. Um, but I guess we'll go ahead and start the fan up now. And, yeah, since there's no switch, it's also a single speed fan, so it's just on. So here is, it's one speed. Whoa, that was a smoke detector I have plugged in chirping. Sorry about that. Must have been the, there it goes again. Let me unplug that. Change in voltage sometimes makes that thing chirp. So yeah, this one is very quiet and it's a very good performer. It moves a steady stream of air. I actually did use this one last night to sleep. The sound of it just put me right to sleep. I love the white noise. Yeah. Very nice little fan. All right, let's do a spin down. And I did oil it when I got it, so the spin down has increased, I'd say, or it's improved. Um, let's turn it around and see if I can get a, a shot of the startup sound, if it has any. Now we don't have to worry about that smoke alarm chirping either. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. It's got a little bit of something. It's not much, but it's a good little fan. I really like it. Oh, and it's got the uh, the stand. You can uh, let's see. You can have it tilted that way, which is where these these like rubberized feet are. You can have it tilted this way, which is about the same angle. You can have it this way, which is like a little bit higher. Or you can have it that way. Or you can have it pointed straight up, like that. So yeah, that's why they call it the flipper fan, because you can just flip it all over the place. Very, very cool little fan. I am very happy to have this. Huge thanks to um, my partner's uncle for giving me this. And I am, yeah, I'm thrilled to have this one. So, and of course, as you all know, I 
absolutely cannot get enough uh, of the blue bladed fans, especially the transparent blades. I love those. They are my favorite, I think, absolutely favorite design. And this was well ahead of its time because this came out in like the 60s. The blue bladed galaxy fans didn't come out until the 70s or even the 80s when the most popular ones, I think, came out. So yeah, these are well ahead of their time. And there was a version of the Lively Air that was also um, in the same color scheme. It was that the motor and base were a lightly a lighter blue color, like a like baby blue, almost like a little little lighter than my walls there. And the blades were the same exact uh, transparent see through blue, exact same shade. So um, yeah, I think that is it for this video. So that is the Westinghouse Flipper Fan model AL10-1. So thank you for watching and more to come.